What's up friends? My name is Jonas Ian and I'm happy to see you again for another Jaiska tutorial on Jaiska Show. Are you having problems on how to make your users see an exact options to input or choose from inside your Google Sheets? Well, don't you worry because in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets wow. and unify the values in your database using data validation function. Yes. So please don't skip any part of this video so that you won't miss anything in the process. Hi. If you use this tool in Google Sheets in a right way, it will provide you with enormous opportunity to work both numerical and verbal data. When it comes to validating values in Google Sheets, there is a great function called data validation and today we're going to see how it works. So in this tutorial, we're going to use this payment database spreadsheet. So here, we have the names of our client, their subscription, their location, company size, payment amount, and transaction date. Okay. So if you want to perform any action with the database on a specific criteria, for example, the location, you need to make sure that all of your data here are accurate, meaning all of the clients living in Mandawi City has Mandawi City in their location and not Mandawi. Okay. And this is where the data validation function helps a lot. First of all, we need to select the data set that we want to apply the data validation tool. Let us select our location column. In the first cell, we have a header, so we need to start from C2. And then we press Control plus Shift plus Down key to select the column that contains values but it is better to select the whole column till the end in case additional data appears so we press again control shift down arrow once more then we go to the menu click data and then select data validation here you can type in the range manually as well to select the whole column Start from C2. Type C2, column C. Now we need to define the list of items to fit. We know that we sell our services to three cities only Cebu City, Mandawi City, and Iligan City. If your range is fixed and won't change often, use the list of items option like this one. For this, Choose the list of items and then type in all the items separated by a comma. So, Cebu City, comma, Andawi City, comma, Iligan City. Remember that you have to use the correct letter case and no extra spaces. Make sure you check show drop down list in cell, this one, and show warning on invalid data, this one. And then you click save. And now, all of the locations should fit one of the items from the list. Wow. If any values don't fit, like for example this one, it will get marked and you can edit them. If your list of items is about to change, for example, you are expanding your business to a new market, it is better to use the list from a range option. Okay. For this, select a separate column or create a new tab. And then let's call it validation values. And this should contain the values to match for the location from our data set. Let's call it location as well. And then we type in here 
the values in the location cell. Now we select the locations column in our payments tab. Then we go directly to data validation and set the range there from C2 to C. Now we select the list from range or from list from a range and then you click this one and then select the validation values tab and then set the range from set the range from A2 to A then click OK and then click Save now you will see here the location should fit one of the values from our validation list okay. if you want to input data manually you can now select from the list of location here if you need to update your list of locations, you add those values to the validation column. Okay. So we go back here and for example, we're going to add Lapu-Lapu City and then they will appear in the list. Wow. See. Remember now, to add anything else to the validation column, it will also appear in the list too. Yes. You can validate your data in a number of ways. Select if the value should match any specific number. If the text should contain a specific word. Or if the date is in range before the deadline. You can also apply custom formulas to date validation. And also to secure your data set, restrict inputting data that does not match the requirements. You can set this one by selecting reject input. Okay. Recently, Google added a new feature to data validation. You can now create checklist and mark what was done or not done right in the sheet. Imagine we need to mark payments that already landed in our bank account. Okay. We select a separate column and then let's call it landed and then we go to data validation and then we set the range to G2 to G and then select the checkbox option and then you click save. Now we can mark which payment have already landed in our bank account. You can also use the checklist option to manage various processes in Google Sheets. Yes! So that's it for our introduction in data validation. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment down below. If you have learned something in this tutorial, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Once again, I am Jonas Ian for Jaiska Tutorial in Jaiska Show. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.